A while ago, I stopped using the apron to tint windows, and I'll tell you why in this video. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Wayne from Fade the Back. Like I always say, man, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I'm trying my best to bring you different types of window tinting content from my mind state. You know, everyone has their own style. Everyone has their own um, way they do things. And I'm just trying to offer a little bit of tips and tricks on how I do things. Now, this video is about why I stopped using a window tinting apron. All right, now I know we see most tinners um, use aprons, and I know a lot of OG tinners using aprons. They've probably been using aprons for years, but I find a couple reasons why I just had to stop using them because it just didn't, just didn't work that well for me. Now, one of the reasons why I stopped using aprons is because I felt like I had to dig inside of the apron so much to be able to find my tinting tools. You know, I was always trying to find which pocket I put it in and trying to grab the tool. So I spent a lot of time looking inside the apron trying to find the tools, and that just got annoying for me. Another thing, is when I used to sit down and tinting like sedans, let's say I'd sit down and the apron would bunch up. So then you have to really move yourself and adjust yourself to be able to get the tools out of the apron. And that just got really, really annoying for me as well. So I think I saw another person on a video, uh, Window Tinting Queen from Yuba City Artistic Window Tint. She had a little tray. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna try to use a tray as well because I'm just tired of the aprons hanging around my waist, moving all around. Sometimes they get holes in them, your tent tools drop out. So I said, you know what? Let me try the little tote tray and see how that works for me. So this is just a little tray that I found. I think my wife found this and now I have a couple of these trays. I just put all my tools in here. I can see which tool I need right away and I don't have to look around in my thing for it. Shout out to Jay Bird for this one. Um, I got every tool right in here. I can see it, I can see right where it is. I can just reach down and grab it right away, anything that I need out of here. Um, so this to me works really well other than having an apron that's around my waist and I can't see which pocket is which, you know? So I found this little tray. I'll try to find one and leave a link to this thing down below if you guys wanna check it out or wanna try it. Like I said, this is another option and for me, I found out this works really well being able to have the tools here and being able to see the tools. Another thing that I found out is I do a lot of trucks. So when I'm doing a truck, I pretty much have the, the door right here in front of my face, you know what I mean? So for me, I don't have to sit down. With, so what I found out is having my tool tray right here on the foot area of a vehicle, I can see which tool I need right away and when, I, and when I need to grab it, it's there right in my plain sight. So when I'm using a tool and I'm working that and I can see when I'm done with this tool, I can look right over and see exactly what the next tool that I need to grab when I'm tinting. So for me, that works out well. I don't have to dig around in an apron. I can visually just look right over and see the tool that I need to grab and grab it right out of the tool tray. So now I will admit carrying the tool tray around is kind of bulky sometimes. You really can't pack it into anything well. But how I carry mine around, I carry my tool tote on my other tool tote. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so generally what I do is I'll take this little tote and I'll just slip it right over this one. And then I can generally take my towels or whatever case I need here, throw them up here. And then when I need to go, I just grab this thing and I will carry this whole tote and throw it right in the back of my truck. So for me, this is, like I said, this is what I use. I'll just put this stuff right here. I'll have my towels in here and it works out really well for me. Like the, carrying this around isn't the greatest, isn't the easiest. Um, I'm sure there's probably different ways to do it, but I just take everything together here, have my tools in here, cover them up with a towel so nothing falls out. And I usually just throw it right in the back of my pickup truck when I'm going out to do some mobile. So that's what I found that works best for me. Maybe you guys have another idea that will work better. But like I said, this whole tote thing, and then I put the plastic tote tray on there and generally I'm good to go. Those are some of the reasons why I stopped using an apron. Um, I use the tote tray, how I carry the tote tray around. I think maybe later on in another video, I will show you everything that I carry around with me, um, depending on where I'm going. I have another bigger um, case or tote carry all thing that I use. I have some things in there. I have the one big handled um, tote thing and I have the plastic tote thing. So those three things are generally I can fit everything in there, all my squeegees, all my towels, my heat gun, my water solution bottles. So that'll be another video, so look out for that one too. 
But like I said before, I can't rock the apron anymore. I like to use a plastic tote tray. So if you liked any content in this video, man, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit that bell so you're not missing any notifications. I hope this helped you out. I hope it's a new option for you guys to try. And I'll be back when I get time with another video. But until then, stay faded. Peace. So if this video gives in, so if this video, so when I need a tool and I'm squeegeeing on something, when I'm doing trucks, I do a lot of trucks. So I mean, you really can't pack it any, any right on the. But this is pretty much why I. So that'll be another video. I can just visually see. A while ago, I stopped using it. A while ago, I stopped using the aprons to...